Good afternoon, everybody. Kenny Beck live here in Winston-Salem at the American Red Cross facility with another reminder of the wonderful program we have going on today. It is Triad Together, the Helene Relief 12-a-thon. Number to call to make a safe, secure donation to the American Red Cross is on your screen. We have a QR code as well. We've been covering this, of course, in the days leading up to Friday. And the more that we learn about the devastation in the western part of our state and the extraordinary response, the more we keep hearing from wonderful people like you watching at home. How can I help? What can I do? There is nothing more simple to do, nothing easier to do than from the safety and security of your own home, where luckily most of us do have electricity and working water and power and internet. Call the number on your screen, 855-977-GIVE. Every little bit counts. The need is extraordinary to our West. I'm joined now by Tom Dunn, American Red Cross lifer, I guess for lack of a better way. You worked for them for a while. Now you're a volunteer. You have been boots on the ground in some of the very worst things that have ever happened in our country, including the 9-11 terror attacks almost a quarter century ago. Can you describe what it is like being a Red Cross worker arriving at some of these horrific events, what you see and what your most important role is? Well, as a Red Cross worker, the most important role, whether it's feeding, sheltering, uh, in all positions, the most important thing is we offer comfort. We offer a, a shoulder to cry on. Uh, a lot of our uh, workers offer a hug. and. After the disaster, a lot of people tell us that was worth as much as the money uh, or the physical assistance we gave them is someone to sit there and listen to them and offer the comfort that they needed. So you worked for the Red Cross, you were telling me, for the better part of two decades, and then you retired, and now you're back as a volunteer. What brought you back? Uh, well, I always loved what I did for the Red Cross, and as a volunteer, I don't have to do the administrative work, and I can worry about comforting people and helping them directly. Gotcha. And when you've seen some of the images, whether it's the aerial video or the social media posts or the official, you know, pictures from State Department of Transportation or the governor's office, when you see what this whopper of a storm did to places that we love and visit and have family there or have children who live there, going to, going to college, what's your reaction when, when you see what Helene did to our state? And it's horrible what uh, we see on television because like a lot of people, I've been there, I have friends there, and I worry about them too. So I'm only glad that with uh, knowing that I'm with an organization that's supporting them, providing shelter for many people who've had their homes washed away, again, comfort. It's amazing when you have a child who's lost everything and you give them a teddy bear, mm -hmm. just the results uh, the, to finally, after all this horror, to see a smile on their face. So. Wonderful. Well, there's a lot of great stuff happening here at the Red Cross just today. Of course, the Blood Donation Center is just through those doors. In addition to making a monetary donation to the Red Cross, they really, really need blood right now as well. The need is always great, particularly on the other side of summer. And a lot of their facilities in the western part of our state, obviously they lost a lot of their supply and it's going to be a while before they get back up and running again. And of course, as we inch ever closer to the holidays, the need tends to be high there as well. And that's not even to mention all of the people who have been injured and need it immediately. So if you're able to give blood today, talk to a guy earlier who was a double giver. He came in, gave blood and wrote the Red Cross a check on his way out the door. He earns the gold star today for sure. He said he didn't want to be on camera, just wanted to do a wonderful thing. Lots of different ways that you can do a wonderful thing. Again, that number is on your screen, 855-977-GIVE. We have a QR code that'll take you straight to a safe, secure place where you can do that online if you would prefer as well. And I do want to mention, of course, WXII, we are not alone in this effort today. We are fortunate to be part of the Hearst television family. Hearst owns television stations literally all over the country and a good chunk of them are right here in the southeast and a good chunk of them are joining forces today as part of this telethon effort. Of course, Helene has hit western North Carolina extraordinarily hard, but the damage is not just isolated to here. We've got our friends at WYFF in Greenville, South Carolina, WESH in Orlando, Florida, WPBF in West Palm Beach, WBBH in Fort Myers, and WJCL in Savannah. 
On top of that, WXII as well, we are all joining forces today trying to raise as much money as we can for the American Red Cross. So please, if you feel so compelled, donate whatever you can. Imagine if every person watching right now just gave five or ten bucks. It's super easy. What a difference that would make. 855-977-GIVE. Back to talk a little bit more about this when the news at four begins in just a little bit. You're watching WXII 12 News. Back to regular programming for now.